back out in the shop again today, uh, trying to finish a few orders. Kim had a lady call her the other day wanting to get a uh, cow head door hanger, but she wanted the ear tag to have Elmo written on it. So we back got all that put together. Now we're gonna try to finish it up and see if we can get it together so we can get it shipped out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, all we're gonna do is get the ear tag put on and that should about wind it up. How's that look right there? That look pretty good? Yeah. You know, it sit about like that. Yep, I think that'll work right there, don't you? Yep. All right, so here is um, the cow door hanger with Elmo's name on it. We actually engraved the um, name tag and then we cut out later letters that had Elmo's name on it and I painted it red and then I glued it um, over top of the engraved name on the tag. So it kind of give it like a 3D look. So I think it turned out really good. And then I used cow print and some red to bring out the red in Elmo's, Elmo's name. So um, it's ready and it should be shipped out to the lady next week. We also have been working on some other stuff in the shop. Um, this is a tic-tac-toe board. Um, it's got the little barns and tractors on it. But it's a cute little piece for a child or anybody to play with. So you can take them off the tractors and if you wanted to you could either you could probably hand paint them too but we're going to leave them like like they are like with wood just plain wood cute little game piece and then we also since easter's coming up easter's early this year it's the end of march we made these little easter bunnies that holds a kinder joy egg so and you can we can do custom like we could say the child's name or somebody's name there or we can change out the year and put something else there too so we can customize change that around on the bunny's ears but here's just one it says easter 2024 with a little kinder egg holding and we were playing around also with something else so we made this cross i'm going to try to use this as a door hanger too um, the glue is still drying, so you probably still see the glue a little bit, but I'm going to fix it up, make it as a door hanger too. So it's made out of the 30, um, what is three millimeter walnut wood, and then uh, basswood is the letters cut out of it. So I think it's a cute little lightweight door hanger or a wall hanger somebody could use. And then also, I've been working on bee arrangements this weekend. Um, I have, well, one person wanted two custom orders, so there'll be two, well, we actually got three ready, so two of these will be going out to somebody next week, and then I have an extra one, and I also made this little, um, it's a white pitcher, it has sunflowers, this is a spring and summer arrangement that you use throughout the whole summer and spring on your table or any on a table or anything you want to use it for. But it's very cute. It's very full. And also, I've been trying something new. These are, uh -oh, stuck. So I've been making these. Um, these are made out of two different types of greenery. This is a um, beaded, fern and um, wheat grass. I mingle two types of grass in to create this reef. It is made on an 18 inch grapevine reef base. Um, all this is hot glued on and then I customize a bow. So these turn out to be about 26 to 27 inches um, in height and they're about probably about 24 inches wide or 25 inches wide. So this is one, I got some other ones made because I had some people that's already ordered some and I'm waiting some ribbon to come in this week so I can finish out one order. So I also did a different other kind of greenery too. This is just a fern greenery reef on an 18 inch base. So it's about the same size as the other one and it's just done in fern. And then I'm gonna put a bow on it or you can have you know a customized bow that you want to put on it. So these are something that will last throughout the whole spring and summer or the fall too. You can just change out the bow that people can leave on their door 
and all this stuff is UV protective so it's good for the weather and the sun to hang on your door so it should last for a long time so I took out my um, rack that I usually put my reef on in here um, I took it out because we just needed more space to with working with the laser machine and I have the flags in here too so I just took some nails on the side of the um, boards and nailed up so I could hang some of my reefs on and so I kind of went all the way around where I could nailed some nails and hung up my reefs and took that rack out so we have a little bit more room in here and also we I have just got in this past week or I think in the last week um, my summer or spring and summer flags um, I'll be ordering some more summer flags but most of these you can use for spring and summer or throughout the whole year so I'm going to try to work on the website and have those on there so you can see what kind we have. We're still planning on adding on a little bit because we have actually outgrown this little shed right here you know she's got stuff hanging the walls now the unfinished walls but with the uh, X tool machine here and everything that's going on with her stuff back here in the back being worked on and all you can kind of tell we have filled this little building up with our shelves with supplies on it over here she, she's got stuff hanging on the back wall back here too all the way around to the other side and so we have really outgrown this little building and of course her little work table is slam full so we're hoping in the next few weeks or months or ever how long to go back and work on the red shop up by the road and try to get a workshop kind of do some enclosed in there and just build a workshop inside the big red shop so hopefully we can take and get all this stuff cleaned out get us a bigger workspace and uh, have more room to display all the stuff she's been making They had not stopped laying yet. They've been laying a bunch of eggs right lately. We got refrigerator in the house is full, refrigerator in the shop is full. Hmm. We got eggs coming out everywhere right here right lately. I've seen some of my neighbors too. Apparently their chickens are still laying pretty good. But I guess the weather's been so weird this year. They haven't really molted like they normally do. And they've been laying eggs just like they ain't nothing changed. Uh, uh, gotta get them through for a little bit longer. little baby there she done going to find out what the hay was too got her own little pile right there Sorry, goat. Me. Oh, 
When we came out to feed the goat, Kim noticed that the fence ain't that great. He's done broke half the wire off this thing. So, I think the cows on it too. Well, the cows is pushing on it. They're trying to get to his feed and a little bit of everything. So we're going to try to fix him up a little bit. Those little hog clips didn't work that great last time. So I'm going to try something that'll last for a little longer. Okay, and take and cut this off. What is he doing? I don't need no help. I don't need no help. Back up. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, let's get right there. I thought you gonna go. Will you quit? Go on now. Go on now. You need to quit. Will you quit? You ain't helping none, you know it. You I don't need no help. Will you quit? You're not helping. I don't need your help either, goat. Don't be trying to bite me. You better go on. Look. I just put that piece of wire on there and you done pulled it off. I'm telling you what. I'm going to watch him. I'm going to watch him somewhere else in a minute. I'm going to watch him in the back of a trailer. Maggie, you ain't helping none either. All right, pull this tea post over right there. Don't let him get you while you're doing it, though. Push it on over. A little bit more. I got it. <laughs> he, he wants to be fine kind of ribbing him. He's leaking me. But now he's hitting me with the horns. All right, see how long that takes you to tear it up? Not hid. Well, brand new piece of tin there, and it's been folded around so it didn't have any edges on it, and Elmo has somehow or another split it in two. It's got a sharp edge on it now. And it might need to screw in it right there, so. I'm going to go and find one. I can do about that part right there. Well, as good as I can get it for right now, but I may try something later on. But we'll see if he starts beating his head on that anymore or not. At least now he won't cut himself, I don't think. Well, coming home from work on a Friday afternoon, and as I'm pulling up the driveway, let me show you what I run into and see. Well, it is supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I reckon today is as good a day as any. So, I'll go there and change my clothes and get there and I reckon help finish up. Well, it's a cool, rainy Saturday, and we're out here in the barn again this morning. We're going to try to finish up a few orders. Our neighbors at the uh, strawberry farm ordered some cups the other day, and they want us to engrave those with their logo. So, we've been working on them the last few nights, and I should finish up today, I hope. And today's a no better day because it's raining and messy outside today, so might as well be in here working. So I figured I'd show y'all how we engrave these cups right quick. Um, got one more, I just load up into the machine and i kind of show you what we do. All right, I got the last cup loaded up in there. Um, gonna turn it, make sure everything's level so it prints like it ought to. Got my red dot there showing the highest point of the cup. Got my rotary tool in there. So we're gonna close her down, she's good for in here. 
This is the logo that we kind of designed. It had the strawberry and had the gap in the middle so we could actually put whatever we wanted into in the middle. And they liked it pretty good and it has turned out really good. So I'm gonna go back to process again and I'm gonna refresh the camera, make sure everything looks right. Yep, so everything's right. There's the cup right here. And there's our logo. And it's actually gonna transfer right over to the center of this cup. We're gonna process it. So now we're gonna hit the start button and make sure everything's gonna line up right. It's gonna turn the cup around a little bit. Got it lined up. And there we go. It takes about 13 minutes or so on the laser process itself, not counting the time to change the cups in and out, but about, probably do one cup about every 15 minutes. So it's not that bad. So we're gonna let it do its thing. And when it gets through, I'll show you what we'll do next. Oh, that's working. Kim's over here working on another wreath of hers. You gonna put a bow or anything on that one? Yeah, I'm gonna do a probably a farmhouse bow or something, or a bright bow or something other. I ain't decided what I wanna put on there yet. This is the first time I did an oval. This is an 18 inch oval wreath, which I gotta go back and cut. I just got done doing this, putting all the greenery on it. So I go back in and cut all the stick, the um, little stems off so it won't be scratching your door. But this is an 18 inch oval reef and it is very full. So, and then the bow will go about right in here and make the long tails on it. All right, we just finished up. So let's see what we got. Take her off the tumbler. All right, that's what it looks like when it first comes out, but it just needs a little bit of cleaning up and polishing. So let's do that now. Oh. All right, and what we've been doing is we've been putting a little bit of alcohol on here to get, it's like an overspray. It's where the, the dust, where it's cutting that coating off, it's just that dust settles back in to where the cutout was. So that's what it looks like right now. But with a little bit of polishing, it should clean right up. glasses on so I can see. Mm. Some of them take a little bit more scrubbing than others, but some of them come off and clean that pretty easy right off the bat. Some of them a little bit more elbow grease is needed. This one's turning out pretty good though. Looks pretty good. I'm going to do a wipe over to the whole thing. Get all the Make sure she's cleaning all the way around. I think that looks pretty good. Take a dry side of the cloth, clean it up a little bit. But there it is. It turns out really good. I'll tell you, this thing does a good job on them. Um, I don't know if, if any glares on that or not, but I don't know if y'all can see that good or not. But they come out pretty good. Well, I put it off long enough. It's time to go ahead and worm these cows. And today's feed day, so today's the best day to do it. Um, my old pouring stick got in the corner and it kind of got the old red cup got kind of brittle and broke off and got kind of messed up. So I found this old cup here in the house. This is 16 ounce to that line there, so that's plenty big. So I think we're going to make us a new stick. Here, hold on right there. See if we can go ahead and make us a new pouring stick. Don't know exactly how I won't do this. I remember how I did the last one to you. Here you go. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and set it right here on this counter right here. Uh, how far have we got out? All right. I don't really know how the best way to do this is. I can't remember. I'm gonna wrap around here a couple of times so I have something to hold on to the stick. Now I'm gonna come over here. Can you hold that right there too? Well, I'm gonna need where your hands at now. You gotta kinda hold it above it. Oh, are you squishing it or is that just squishing like a cell? Come on down a little bit with it about right there.
I think that'll hold it right there. Hold on to it. I'll that tape back to the shop. What? I'll send for that back when oh, we yeah. went to the shop. No, let me see that thing. All right, I think that'll work. Just go right down their back with it. I think that'll be all right right there. That's long enough reach, I think. All right, I think that'll work. We went to Truck Supply Day and got us a new thing. Of, well, this is the old one that we had before, but I refilled it. We ended up getting us a, a big old jug of it. Uh, this is a five liter jug. I figured why they had it, I better get it because you don't never know. I know one time it got to be in short supply, but I'm just gonna put it back in distance because it's got the measurements on there, which I need, so. All right, I'll let you tote that. I'm gonna tote the feet out there. Perfect. I knew she's gonna back up. She does it every time. All right. All right, there's one dose. Two doses. Oh Lord, get a little extra on that one. There we go. Now they're done. There's that dose. There's Elmo's deuce. He's a little bigger than the girls are, so give him a little bit extra. So there are them three. Let's go over to the next one and do the last one. I'll go ahead and mix hers up before I get in there. Helping. Two helpings. All right. Just sit down over there, be all right. What are you doing, baby calf? Me? Come here. I ain't gonna bite you. All right. Now they've all been wormed, because she sure needs it. She's getting a little, <sighs> where we got the bull calf off her, she still looks a little puny in the hips back there, but she's starting to feel back out now since he's off of her. But they've all needed worming the last few days. I just ain't had time to do it, so. But well, we got them done today. Now Can I got to go back and do them old calves in the back. Can you get that paper out? Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna hold my cup. Yeah. I'm gonna tie this string back. Somebody done broke off. You can tell Elmo's tore up the gate. He has done that this weekend. Yeah, he, I guess he wants to use that for his hey, own Daddy. little place. So what I'm gonna end up doing. He's about got it off the thing. He's about to tore completely down for me. So he's done all the demolition. So I'm gonna end up taking it all down and just making that an open, just making that an open stall right there for him to come in and out of. <laughs> Right now, must have been eating mountains bars. I don't know. The wind must have blown it. How in the world that got in there? That wind's been blowing so bad, I reckon it may have come from. Ain't no telling where it came from. Ain't no telling where that came from. But. Hmm. Like to worm myself. All right, hold that right there. Remember which ones I got now because these are different. Here you go, I'm gonna try to get this furthest one over here. I 
I gotta get this one in Elsie and the Elsie and the bull calf. Bull calf and Bella. Maggie, you don't need none of I'm that. gonna try to sneak the bull calf right quick. Hey, buddy. There he went. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah, I got him. Now Elsie and... Oh, Elsie. Elsie and... Back me into me. All right. Bella. Look at old Sneaky there getting some cow feed. There we go. All right, last one. I should have got the ear You want some? All right, it's got the lid for it. Yeah, it's in my pocket. I'm going to give him the rest of his feed. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself with that cow feed? Oh, come on, I'm sure they'll let you eat with them. I'm going to give it the rest of them. It ain't going to hurt them. Y'all want some more? Excuse me. Everybody's being wormed. Y'all are good. Maggie, if you're a cow, I'm gonna have to worm you too. I ain't never seen it. Got molasses in it. Yeah, it's got molasses and corn and mm -hmm. oats and she likes it better than she does her dog food. Well, we got them worm for another six months. So I actually was behind on this one. I normally do it at the end of January. Here it is, the first part of March. So I didn't use all that bottle of Ivermec, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop it back off. So next year, um, it'll be ready to go again. Cause this is some good stuff. I used to use it on the horses and everything else. And this pour on is pretty easy with the cows. Well, with the cows we got, especially when you feed them. Well, I guess that's gonna wrap it up for us here this week. We got a few projects in the shop taken care of. Kim's still trying to make a lot of stuff for the the, the events we got coming up soon. And first one's what, this Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday, March the 16th, is the Master Guardian Symposium event. So we got that this Saturday, then in, was it May? May. 11th and 12th? No, May 10th, 11th and 12th. 10th, 11th and 12th. It's Mother's Day weekend. It's that Thursday, no, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday yep. at Raleigh. We'll have, be at the Vintage Market Days again this this year. So still trying to get a lot of stuff made up for that because there's a lot of people there last year. And uh, we didn't sell out, but we sold a lot of stuff last year. So we're going to try to make sure we got plenty of stuff on hand this year. Plus, we got the laser machine now, and we're trying to do a few more things and carry that with us when we go. So we had the wreaths, the earrings. We have, I don't know what all we're going to have, really, but we're trying to make some more stuff to carry out this year. Because we got a bigger booth this year. Our booth last year was, what, 10 by 10? 10 by 10, I got it. And we were kind of on top of each other in kind of a crowded little booth. So now we got, this year we're going to have a... I got a 10 by 20 this year. 10 by 20 this year. So it's going to be a lot bigger. So we need more stuff to put in it to fill it up. So if you're up that way, come see us. And we finally got the cups finished for our neighbors there at the Strawberry Farm, and they're getting ready to open up here pretty soon. And they're having an event down there too that they've asked us to come to. Yeah, that's going to be May the 4th right now if things don't change. Yeah, I think the weekend before Mother's Day. And so we're going to sit up down there with them and come see us if you're down this way. And if you're looking at some strawberries, come see them, because I'm not sure exactly when it's going to open, but it's getting pretty close. The weather's changing. Strawberries are budding out. They've already got some starting to pop up a little bit, I think. Yeah, usually and, uh, usually they open up in March, so yeah, it should be so getting soon. We'll it's getting long. close, but we'll keep y'all updated if y'all want some good strawberries. 
Uh, we've been working on our website again. Ken's been trying to add some of the new stuff on our, our regular website, which is the whirlyhomesteadmarket.com. And so go by and take a look at that. She's been, <laughs> she was up to what, midnight last night, I think. I was up there after one o'clock last night. I got all the garden flags on there. So I'm gonna try to work on tonight. I'm gonna try to work on putting the big flags the mailbox covers and the signature signs on there. And then I'm gonna start putting my, um, we're gonna start putting some of the laser work on there and then my greenery wreaths cause they're getting to be very popular. So I'm gonna try to put those on there. So if you interested in anything like that, look at our website and I'll put links down in the description in the bottom part like I normally do. And also she still got stuff on Etsy right on and. Yeah, I got some of my wreaths and stuff, the greenery wreaths on Etsy already. So I'm starting to work on our website again because I know it had like fall stuff on there and I got way behind on it. So I'm trying to get my website getting better, looking better and putting all our new products on there. And we're, I was trying to do a, figure out a way where shipping wouldn't be so expensive and um, shipping's just so high. And on Reeves, it's, it's ridiculous because the, the size of your box is what kills you. And my reefs are big, so a lot of times I'm shipping with a 24 by 24 by 8 size box, and it can go between about 40 something dollars to ship out, yeah. like across the state. So, and that's just shipping. And that's just shipping. So that's not even counting the boxes, the packing, and all that stuff. Um, so shipping what gets you. So, so I'm trying to be doing the prices and do free shipping. Well, again. That's going to wrap it up for us this week. We appreciate you joining us. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors, and we sure hope to see you on the next video.